Hello and welcome to part 2 of the Excel for Beginners course. In this tutorial I'm going to build another fairly simple spreadsheet and as I work through it I'll explain the different features and functions including uh, navigation on a spreadsheet, uh, working with columns and rows and obviously calculations. So let's begin then. In cell A1 I'm going to type the title of the spreadsheet which in this case is going to be Fred's Video Classics. Whoops. Now I should, I made a little typing mistake there, I should point out that you can correct errors as you go through when you're entering labels. Um, I haven't actually pressed the enter key yet so I haven't accepted this entry. Now if I wanted to I could cancel it completely by pressing the escape key. So if I do that now you'll see what happens. It goes. Well now I've got to start all over again. Um, there are other ways you can edit in the cell, which I'll explain in a second. There we go, so I'm going to press enter this time. Now I've entered that, so that's now on the spreadsheet. If I want to go back and edit that, highlight the cell, press the F2 key, and then when it, that happens we go into edit mode, and I can use the arrow keys just to move backwards and forwards if I want to, delete items, type new things in, and when I'm happy, press the enter key. If you want to get rid of it completely, obviously you can just press the delete key, and if I want to bring it back again, I can undo that delete. Fairly simple. Okay, moving down to row two. I'm going to put some more labels in here for our new spreadsheet. The word title. Now, I could press enter here, but I want to go to column B in row two. So I'm actually going to press the right arrow key on the keyboard, and that will jump me to cell B2. Now I'm going to type in rental price here, and again press the right arrow key, that will move me to C2, type in rentals, right arrow key again, and in D2 type in the word income. And this time I'll press enter, that will move me down to row 3, and if I press the home key on the keyboard, that takes me to the beginning of the row. Now you'll notice some problems there um, with formatting the title Fred's Video Classics goes into column B and the entry in B2 um, rental price is not complete as you can see it's actually been cut off by the entry in the third column now to adjust column widths it's quite easy really if I need to do it here I can just put the mouse pointer between column A and B and as you see as I move my mouse over it becomes this two-way arrow now once the two-way arrow is highlighted, I just hold down the left mouse button and then drag left or right to resize the cell. So if I drag right, then the column has been resized sufficiently to fit all of Fred's video classics in there. And there's another thing I can do as well, instead of actually clicking and dragging, if I just put the mouse pointer over between column B and C and double click, it automatically fits the column width for rental price. Now, I'm going to undo both of those things because I'm going to show you a different way of getting things to fit into columns. So I'm going to undo the change to column B and undo the change to column A. Okay, now we're going to put in some more details for our spreadsheet. Uh, because this is Fred's Video Classics, I'm going to put some classic movie titles in here. Now, it's up to you what you put into here. You can copy exactly what I'm putting in or you can put your own favourite titles in, I don't really mind. So just bear with me while I type these things in here. As I type them, by the way, you'll notice that quite a lot of the titles go over into column B, and I'm going to correct that by adjusting the column width of column A in a second. Oh, I'll just show you that, by the way. I'll just press the escape key. You may have noticed that. When I type the C key for Casablanca, it puts in Citizen Kane. Now this is um, a feature of Excel that it allows you to quickly put entries into a, a list if you've got an existing previous entry. If I wanted to put Citizen Kane in again all I would need to do here now is press the enter key and if I for example type the letter G it'll find Godfather and then I can press the enter key and so on. Obviously I don't want to do that now so I'm just going to delete those two entries Okay, and we'll carry on. But it's just a wor worthwhile um, knowing that when you start typing things, if Excel prompts you 
to uh, put an existing entry in there. You can either accept it by pressing the Enter key or you can ignore it and continue typing, which is what I'm going to do here as I type in Casablanca. Now it's op given me the option of Citizen Kane. I'll simply type the letter A and Excel immediately knows I'm typing something new because there's nothing in the list already with C A in it. So I can now go on and type Casablanca. And finally, The Wizard of Oz. There we go. So just a few classic films in there. Now, what I'm going to do here is adjust column A, so it's going to cover all of the longest title, which is 2001 A Space Odyssey. I'm going to do it by simply double-clicking, put the mouse pointer between A and B, and double-click. And there we go. That's automatically adjusted the width to the widest entry in the column, which in this case is 2001 A Space Odyssey. OK, before we go on, what I'm going to do now is save this spreadsheet. Now, it's worthwhile saving your spreadsheet on a fairly regular basis, just in case things go wrong. Um, and a little trick you may not be aware of is if you press the F12 key on the keyboard, it brings up the Save As dialog box, and you can then type in a name. I'm just going to type in the name of the spreadsheet, exactly as it's listed. Fred's Video Classics, press the Enter key. Now, in future, when I want to save, all I need to do is click the Save button here, and that will simply overwrite the existing entry. If, for some reason, I want to save another version of this spreadsheet, so I might have it in different styles or layouts, for example, or I might just be testing things out, if I want to save another version of it, I can do by, again, pressing the F12 key, which brings up the Save As box, and I can type in another title and I'll have two versions of the same spreadsheet. Okay, and I'll just press the escape key there, that'll clear that dialog box. Okay, so it's worth knowing. The F12 brings up the Save As box. Once you've saved the spreadsheet, simply click in the Save button, overwrites the existing file and saves the new version. Now, I'm going to enter some numbers into our spreadsheet. So, um, a rental price, first of all, £1.95. And then this time, I'm not going to use the right arrow key to go across, I'll use the tab key. And you'll see why in a second. If I press the tab key, that moves me into the rentals column, and I'm going to put in the number of times that this film has been rented, which is 5. And if I press the enter key, you see what happens, it actually jumps back to the rental price column. So I'll just show you that again. If I put in the rental price of the next film, £2.50, press the tab key, press the number of rentals, in this case 9, press the enter key, and it jumps back to the start of the next row, or the, the selling column B, ready for me to type in the next row. In this particular spreadsheet, it's not that big a deal because we've only got a couple of rows to, or columns to work with. But you can imagine if you were entering information across, let's say, five or six cells, as you tab across, so if you went tab, 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 press the Enter key, and it jumps you back to the beginning of the next row. It's quite useful, saves a bit of time. OK, so I'll go ahead and just put the rest of these uh, prices and rental numbers in. So we have £1.50 for Citizen Kane, and that's been rented six times, £1.95 for The Godfather, that's been taken out seven times, £1.95 for Casablanca, that's gone out twelve times, and finally The Wizard of Oz, £1.95, and that's been rented on ten occasions. There we go, so that's all the, the basic information, rental price and rental information, and I'm just going to save again, so we know our spreadsheet is nice and secure, that will overwrite the existing file as I said. Now, I was going to do the calculations at this stage, but unfortunately I've run out of time on this YouTube clip, so I'll have to save that until next time. So if you'd like to open the tutorial number 3, Excel for Beginners, then it will cover calculations there, formatting and a few other things besides. So thanks very much for watching this tutorial, hope you found that useful, and see you next time.